Well, here we are uh, next to the road up at about 4,000 feet in the Cascade Mountain Range. We're out today harvesting parrot's beak, Pedicularis racemosa, in the Scrofulary ACE family. And uh, this is a plant that likes to grow in the understory of the old growth and the second growth uh, in the middle elevation, meaning above 3,000 feet. And uh, it's a semi-parasitic plant, uh, like Scrofulary ACEs are. And it likes to grow as a low-growing, um, mildly succulent, really, uh, plant, much like chickweed would grow down at the lower elevations. And, um, boy, it sure doesn't mind disturbance. Uh, this large green aisle that you can see on the side of the road here, just going and going and going, is all parrot's beak. Let's zoom in. Here you can see a plant with its alternate leaves and the flowers looking much like the twisted beak of a parrot as they come out of their bud. And this plant grows in mats and mats and mats and mats. All that is parrot's beak. It's amazing. It can grow with both red stems, like this one, and green stems. And it's an amazing plant to harvest and tastes quite pedicular, they say. Probably that's a thousand pounds right there near the road. Now we're off here in the woods picking from the hillsides that lead up to the road, of course, uh, and thoroughly enjoying staying in the shade on these hot late summer days. What a great herb to pick, what a great herb to take. It's a wonderful calming herb, soothes the nerves, uh, good for muscle pains, cramping, etc. And uh, sure is a pleasure up here in the mid-elevation mid mountains picking Pedicularis racemosa.